I had to restart it. No, this is loud. Okay, that's fine. No. Hello, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. It is me, Tamika Isaac Devine. I am your possibility activator and success strategist and founder of the Possibilities Institute, where we empower women leaders. Hi, Jamie Devine for checking in, where we empower women leaders and moms to discover their leadership possibility, maximize their potential, and live a life that leaves a legacy. And I am coming to you live today. Um, I'm actually at the beach, as you can see from the beginning of my scope. Um, and I just wanted to jump on for a few minutes. I'm not going to be bringing my normal three points on the particular topic. I just wanted to jump on real quick uh, this Saturday, this beautiful, beautiful, a uh, hot uh, Saturday afternoon, uh, to bring just a couple thoughts about the importance of uh, making time uh, to spend with your family and definitely... Um, making time for yourself and um, doing things, that, finding a way to um, have that family time, have, have that quality time with the ones that you love, um, even if it means kind of tacking it on to something else. Uh, those of you um, who watch my scopes and hear um, some of, or see some of my blogs know that this week I've shared a lot about um, just having some uh, friends who have um, had some tragedies that have touched their lives or some real uh, difficult situations that's touched their lives this week. I've had um, a friend who lost a father this week. I've had a friend who, uh, two friends who had their children um, hospitalized for serious, serious problems. And so, you know, it's just, it's important just to remember that we have got to take some time out um, of our busy lives and really just spend some time with our families and those people who are important to us, those people that we love. Um, I think about the fact that in our in today's society, we are always so busy. We're running from point A to point B. We're juggling several different things at the same time. And we're running and, and trying to um, do everything. And especially we as women, um, we try and juggle so many things and be everything to everyone. Uh, but you know, you hear people a lot of times talk about you can't be everything to everyone and you can't do stuff for other people and, and can't take care of other people if you're not taking care of yourself. And that is so important and we do know that. But um, sometimes it's, it's hard for us to really think about the fact that even um, sp taking some time out from, you know, the things that aren't necessarily work related, but they might be uh, related to the work that we do in our churches or the work that we do in our communities or just the other things that we do in our lives. It's important that we try and take some time and um, not just um, do all those things, but spend some time with our family. And so right now, just to share with you just a little bit about um, or how I try and do it and try and make sure that I have many things uh, that I'm balancing the family life and the work life and the public life and all the other things that I do. But right now, I'm actually at a, a convention. We are um, at a conference, and I've decided um, to take some time out of uh, the schedule, uh, the convention schedule, um, found some time. Um, I always try and, and bring my family with me when I have, um, even when I have work-related trips and and uh, conventions my family typically comes with me and we make sure that we spend this time together as well and so I've taken some time out from my convention duties and uh, we've taken some time to come to the beach uh, just so that the girls and the family could relax and spend some real quality me time to or us time together I guess I would say and so um, I just share that with you because I know that sometimes we're all running so much and we're so busy and there's so much going on and the weekends most people think weekends would slow down but weekends tend to be even busier because we're trying to cram everything in the weekend that we can't cram into our week work week and even though we're not at work during the weekend we're doing all the other stuff we're doing our church activities we're doing our sorority or fraternity activities we're doing our community activities um, or sometimes we just feel like okay we're tired so we're washing clothes or um, cleaning the house or some other things and although we may be with the family and we're not really truly with our family and with the ones that we love we're not spending quality time so um, I'm not going to keep you long I just wanted to jump on this quick scope to encourage you to make sure that you take time out you schedule some time to take some real good family time together even if that means um, tacking it on to something else that you're doing 
you know, whether you have a trip that you have to take for business, whether it is an obligation that you have to do something else, take your family with you. Find a way to spend some time together um, um, in a, in, and tack it on to something else that you may have to do. It is so important um, that we spend time with those that we love. Um, these precious moments, these memories, especially for those of you out here who might have small children, these precious times, uh, they grow so fast. Um, and these precious times um, go quickly. And so you don't want to be thinking back about, I wish I woulda, coulda, shoulda, taken some more time with the ones that I love. So make sure that you spend that time, and I encourage you to schedule some time to uh, spend with the, time, the ones that you love. Um, and just remember that that is the best way to be successful. You can be successful um, in a career, but the best way, the best testament, the best measure of your success is whether or not you are happy in your personal life. And the way you're going to be happy with your personal life is if you balance the personal responsibilities with your work and responsibilities and have a happy home life. And that includes spending some quality time with the ones that you love. So that's all I really wanted to say today. Again, this is Tamika Isaac Devine, your possibility activator and success strategist, founder of the Possibilities Institute, where we empower women leaders and moms to discover their leadership possibility, maximize their potential, and live a life that leaves a legacy. I encourage you to continue to connect with me. You follow me on Twitter and Periscope at T.I. Divine. I'm also on Facebook and LinkedIn at Tamika Isaac Divine. And then please feel free to jump, check out my website, which is www.possibilitiesinstitute.com. If you go onto the website, sign up for my newsletter. Um, I send out inspirational um, messages, some success tips, and um, I will be um, unveiling some additional products very soon. Um, to help you with your success strategy. And if you think that I can help you get to the next level and really map out um, a life that leaves a legacy and that gets you to the next level um, of success, please, please contact me. I'd love to talk to you about how we can continue to work together and uh, get you to the next level. But until next time, have a wonderful weekend. God bless and uh, see you next time. And remember that anything is possible. Bye-bye.